Hello, God Freak Nation. It's the President T Electric, and I just want to say I love y'all, God Freak Nation. Um, I want to say thank you for being a part of God Freak Nation. Um, I just want to talk to y'all about. <clears throat> uh, situational awareness, being alert of your surroundings, being aware of your environment. You know, something um, horrible happened here in my city. I live in um, Detroit. Something very horrible happened um, a week ago. And um, I haven't seen anything like this since 2002 when we had the DC uh, snipers that was just randomly, you know, driving around in they in their car, just sniping off people, killing them. <clears throat> I haven't seen anything like that since it was a, one week ago, last Sunday, here in Detroit. We had a crazy. Deranged, savage, out, just anybody he encountered, he shot them down. He shot four people and three of them died. <clears throat> I'm sorry for coughing, man. Why, why, let, me, let me just say this. Rest in peace to, um, to all the victims, man. Um... Just uh, it's 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 horrible. One of them was a 16 year old girl that ran away from home. You know, um, that really touched me. One one of the victims. One of the victims was um, a woman that was at the bus stop that was you know on her way to work. She had five kids. He killed her. Gunned her down. Another one was a 28-year-old. Then it's the 16-year-old the runaway that ran away from home. 16-year-old girl. It, it's, it's horrible. Then the fourth um, victim was an 80-year-old um, um, army vet. Uh, well, he was in the military, an army. You know, he was, a, he was a military vet. He was shot in the leg. And, you know, thank God his neighbor owned a firearm, a gun. So when the neighbor heard the two shots, um, he ran out. The neighbor ran out with his gun and shot at him. And that's what prevented him from shooting him and, you know, finishing the 80-year-old off. Because this, this, this dude, not only was he shooting the people, but... You know, he targeted them. They were random. This was random. He did not know these people. And he, after he would shoot them, he would come back and shoot them again to make sure that they were dead. So he don't all sound like that, that crazy to, you know, to be double checking. And he had sense enough to run when he got confronted by a good guy with a gun. So I just want to say first and foremost, rest in peace. To, to the victims, to the people that lost their lives, everybody involved. Uh, uh, um, it, it, it really touched me. So it's getting back to this video, man. Like, the way it went down, I think that even if you would have been armed, like if you got your concealed carry license, you really not expecting somebody off the blue to just open fire on you and just gun you down. I'm like, how how can that be avoided? I mean, you really literally got to be on your P's and Q's, just literally keeping your head on a swivel and watching people every move. And even then, unless you got the unless you got your gun already in your hand, already cocked and loaded with one in the chamber, somebody just walk up to you off the blue. It's just one of them things in life, man, that, that's horrible that, you know, 
I just want to know. What are y'all doing? Leave it in y'all comments. Are y'all aware? Like, what would y'all do? I mean, if you don't see it coming. Now, it's, it's one thing to be caught off guard because you don't know. But it's another thing to see it on the news and know that it's a maniac out there just gunning people down. So now you already know to be alert and just to be looking out. To be extra alert and be looking out for anybody that's possibly looking at you or... You know, walking up to you. And that's the way you got to be. It's, it's, it's a shame. But you have to be conscious of your surroundings. If anybody looks... And I ain't going to even say it's a, if, if it's somebody that looks suspicious. You, you have to... You, you, you have to treat... Not, nowadays, you got to treat everybody as if they're savage. That they're trying to get the drop on you. And that's that's sad. But that's just the reality of the life that we live in right now. You know? And it ain't just in the hood or in the cities. It's everywhere. It's spreading everywhere. So, I just want y'all to be ready. And... All times you've got to be ready, earned, and ready at all times. If you don't have your CPL or you know concealed carry license, I, I I beg you to take the proper steps to get that, so you can be, you know, so you can protect yourself, so you can be armed and you can be ready, because you just never know when. The devil gonna come for you, man. You just you just never know when a savage is gonna come for you. You know, I love each and every one of y'all. Um, you hit, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You know, we we headed on the road to eighteen thousand strong now, Gun Freak Nation, man. I got y'all. I'm gonna say it's a blessing. To be appreciated and to be respected and to be loved by so many people, you know. Y'all a blessing. Not to this channel, but y'all a blessing to me. This is this is this is our channel. Without y'all, it wouldn't be no gun freak nation. And I promise when we hit that 20,000, I'm gonna get the gun freak nation tattoo on my other arm, on this arm right here. You know, y'all just, I appreciate y'all. But I want to know in the comments, man, how can you be ready for that? I just feel like certain situations, man, you, you and you don't have no warning, especially if you don't have a gun on you. But even if they would have had a gun, if they would have been armed, I don't think it would have stopped them because... They didn't see that coming. That could have that could have been me. That could have been me. And I feel so bad for the 16-year-old. I'm going to do a podcast. And I'm going to play some of the footage from the... Um, I'm going to play some of the, um, the uh, news footage from that situation, man. But um, it's just horrible. It really is, man. The, these savages, they, they are out of control. And you just gotta, you just gotta be ready for anything, you know. I, I, I always say, expect the unexpected. That's that's what I can leave y'all with. <clears throat> expect the unexpected. I don't know what it is about this cough. Like I ain't cough all day, but as soon as I put this, uh, you know, as soon as I start recording, I go to coughing. When I ain't cough, literally, I haven't coughed all day. I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't know. I don't know, but as soon as I hit recording, I go to car. But also, I want to say rest in peace to um, to James Yeager. Brother, you are going to be missed. I have been watching your videos for years. You, you know, it was, I, I learned a lot of um, good information and advice from watching his videos. You know, I want to say rest in peace to him. I think he passed away like two two days ago. So, uh, James Yeager, 
I salute you, brother. Rest in peace. I want to say rest in um, peace to Big L. You know, his channel, Big L, Gun Fun. Big L is the one that really motivated me to start, you know, when I started YouTube, I was making beats and stuff. And, you know, didn't nobody care about that. But he the one that I, I started watching him and I'm like, wow, brother, you got like 200 guns and, you know, I want a collection like you one day and. He the one that put me on to the Maxim um, Defense PDX and, you know, other guns like the um, the Scorpion. And I remember he would always give me advice and stuff, man. He was he was one of the coolest dudes. So I got to salute you too, Big L Gonfon. And then another brother I want to say rest in peace to is um, Scott C. Real, too legit for you. I miss you too, brother. You used to always leave a comment on my videos and you always came from a place of love you always came from a place of love you always put peace and love and that you love my content and i appreciate you brother you know he passed away to scott to uh scott uh scott c too too real too legit for you i love you too brother you know so you know, Gun Freak Nation, man, I, I love y'all, man. If y'all amongst y'all loved ones, amongst your family, amongst you, your wife, your girl, friend, whatever, man, I, I want y'all to say, you know, and especially if you're around your kids, I want you to tell them that you love them, you know? And um, because in this life, you know, <clears throat> in this life, man, you just never know how much time you got, you know. And when the and when and when those depart this life, and when they leave before us, we miss them. But we also know that our day is gonna come too. We just don't know when they got theirs over with. Their journey is over. They don't make they transition to, I don't know, I don't know, but they no longer here. I wish I knew that it was an afterlife or, you know, you, 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 I just don't know. You know, I really don't. People got, people believe in what they believe in. I just know that once you gone, you ain't coming back. So I, I, I tell y'all, live y'all best life. Live it righteous. And um, and have love for one another, and treat people how you want to be treated. You know, don't give a damn about. You know, don't judge the other man off his race. You know, his color or whatever, his sexuality. You know, judge him off his character. You know what I'm saying? I love each and every one of y'all. I don't give a damn what color, what sexuality you are. I love every one of y'all. You know why? Because y'all love me. You know. So live your best life. And, and, and try to enjoy your life. You know, I went out uh, today, and I got me, um, I got me, uh, I got me a, a sixty round mag for my micro Dracos. It's, it's a mag, it's a quad red uh, mag, um, and I also got me another brace um, for the, the. I got the full size Scorpion now. You know, so I got it because it made me happy. You know, so. As long as you, you know, live in life, man, try to be happy and make yourself happy. Because you only got one, you know, you only got one time to do this. Because I ain't heard of nobody coming back, <laughs> you know, for a, second, for a second run at life. So enjoy it. You know, be responsible. But enjoy your life and tell your loved ones that you love them. Tell them. Because when... I saw the news, man, and it, and, it, and it broke my heart when the 16 year old, um, the 16, the 16 year old girl that got killed by that that savage. The mom said that it was over. Um, she had did something bad, and the mom was trying to punish her, and and took away her phone, and um and was going you know have her go to the room. That was her punishment, and she ran away from home. And I can only imagine the pain 
that she is in because she was expecting her daughter to come back. She filed a missing persons report, told the police that she ran away. So can you imagine the 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 pain that that mom going through, knowing that if she wouldn't have like tried to you know put her on punishment and took her phone, you know. And no, not to know that her daughter ain't never coming back home. Can you imagine the pain of the five kids of, 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 of the mom that was on her way to go to work and was at the bus stop? Man, it's horrible. Then the guy, the 28 year old guy that got gunned down, man. So you just you just never know. So what what you need to do. Is protect yourself. Get that concealed carry license if you can, and be ready to you know protect yourself at all at all times, because you just never know. Like I always say, you don't have to be out looking for trouble. Trouble will find you, and you never know what you may find yourself in. You might just be going to go get some gas for your vehicle. Or just going to the to the to the to the store to do some grocery shopping. You just never know who you are gonna cross paths with. Your life can be taken just like that if you not if you not prepared, and it can happen to anybody. But man, I love y'all. I really do. You want to know something crazy? I think I done made it like my first video that I ain't never said a cuss word or showed a gun or at least me holding a gun. Y'all probably see one in the background, but um, I just feel like this topic, I don't need to be animated. I don't need to be cussing and, you know, respect to all those that lost their lives. And, and uh, one thing about life, man, it's always a, uh, a yin to the yang. It's always opposites or like you got happiness and then you got sadness. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. You got, you got love and you got, you got pain. You got life and you got death. It's just, it's, it's called the cycle, it's called the cycle of life. And unfortunately, everybody got to go through that pain of losing somebody that they truly, truly love, man. And I hate that, I hate it, but it's part of life. It's going to hit my family five times, personally, you know, five times. And um, when you're going through something, you, 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 you know, that's one of the worst type of pains you can go through. So I feel bad for everybody that lost somebody, whether they was a victim or, or, they, or they just, you know, it was just they, 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 they died, you know. But. We all got our day, you know. We just don't know how much time we got, you know. So just make it, you know, make every every second last, you feel me? Make every second last and try to make a difference in somebody else's life and, you know, and, and just be positive and, um, and just be there for a person, man, you know. And love that person. Tell that person that you love them. And just be there for them, no matter what, man. Because everybody, you, everybody, you know, time is ticking, people. So take care of your responsibilities. Take care of your loved ones. Tell them that you love them. And um, just be happy that you can tell them that you, that you love them, that they're still here. Give them their flowers while they can still, you know what I'm saying? While they still here, you know, that's, 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 that's what I'm talking about, man.
But I'm I'm so I'm so grateful and I love y'all and I appreciate y'all and this channel is nothing without y'all, man. It's it's deeper than you know, it's bigger than me now. I I I really do love y'all on everything I love. On everything I love, I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all, you hear me? Gun Freak Nation, salute. Um, just be armed all time. Be alert. Be armed and alert at all times. Because you never know when a savage will strike. I love y'all. Gun Freak Nation, salute. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And um, I love y'all, you hear me? Peace.